This is serious. This is life or death. Look at that love around you. This is a disease that, you know, kills a lot of people every year. Opiates, there's very few chances before you die. That's what we do as interventionists, is we help people hit a bottom. Joining me tonight in Hollywood, Ken Seeley, lead interventionist for Annie's hit reality show, Intervention. Joining the panel right now, Ken Seeley, who is the founder and the director of Intervention 911. From Hollywood tonight, Ken Seeley, lead interventionist for Annie's hit reality show, Intervention. Founder of Intervention911.com, Ken Seeley. Joining us now is Ken Seeley. Ken Seeley from Intervention 911. Ken Seeley. The national executive director of Intervention 911. The number one symptom for this disease is denial. Mm -hmm. And that's where I come in as a professional interventionist, is I come in where the family comes out of denial before the addict. Brian really doesn't have a chance in getting sober and being a part of this family with the way the dynamics are as of today. The reason why I'm here, the stranger in the room, with your loving family is because they're worried about your well-being. You know that, right? Yes, I do. Who would ever convince Jackie to pick up that phone or go to this place you're talking about, Horizon? Is it, is it her daughter? Does she have the power to do that, or does she have to do it herself? Well, that's the difference. You ever hear in the olden days, the, the alcoholic will not stop and the addict won't stop until they hit a bottom? Mm -hmm. That's still true today, but the difference is, is the addict, you know, and the, the alcoholic that hit a bottom, we could raise the bottom through the family. Gotcha. A little bit about what we do as interventionists that I wanted to go over today. Tonight, one man who knows exactly what Lindsay is going through says rehab isn't enough. I don't care if she's paying 30000 or 130000 she's not ready. It's Lindsay's third attempt at rehab, but is she ready to take it seriously this time? A&E's interventionist Ken Seeley doesn't think so. I think she needs a year of long-term follow-up care. And, you know, to go into another 30-day, 60-day, or 90-day program isn't enough for her. And is Nicole on a path of destruction? We went to Ken Seeley of A&E's Intervention, which has helped many in crisis like this alcohol abusing mother. Now the question is, does Nicole need an intervention? In Ken's opinion, yes. Absolutely, it's time. It was time last year to intervene, but yet everybody ignored the red flags. You're breaking the cycle. So these girls and your nephew here will be able to have that life that you wish you had. I'm sorry your dad didn't do it, but you're doing it. And their life is going to be a million times different because you're breaking the cycle. I want to go out to Ken Seeley, interventionist from A&E's Intervention, and he's the founder of Intervention911.com. Ken, you are a world-famous recovering addict. You've been there. Yes, what does yes. Lohan need? You know what, Nancy, it disturbed me what your other guest said because, you know, I believe what she really needs now as an interventionist is she needs to hit that bottom. And we've tried emotional ties. We've tried financial ties by her, you know, mo last four movies flopping, the next one not doing so well, so to speak. And now the only other one that we have to work at is the legal. Get her in jail, let her feel what it feels like to be in jail, and if she breaks any part of that drug court that I'm praying the judge will demand and, and put a judgment on her, if she breaks that, then she goes right back to jail. Enough is enough. You know, like you said, look at all those kids that are dying because of people just like her. We can't take the chance anymore. We have to stop it and let legal systems do what they need to do to help save this young woman's life. Ken, as we heard, you predicted right here on this very program, Showbiz Tonight, that Lindsay Lohan's wild ways were going to land her back inside of a rehab center. Are you as concerned about Brittany as you were with Lindsay? Oh, absolutely, AJ. She's going down the same path. It's not when, when you're involved with addiction, it's not about doing the drugs and the alcohol. It's the behavior that's attached to it. Look at these behaviors that they keep 
going down the roads and behaving like, you know, not mothers. She doesn't act like a responsible adult. She's acting like a 12-year-old that's rebelling. And it's just horrible to see and continue to watch and see it happening again and again and again. And nobody's stepping up to the plate and saying, okay, it's enough. Enough is enough, and we're going to stop this if you're not. They started to when they, you know, threatened custody with Britney, but now they have to step back up to the plate and say, you know what, you didn't stop. And now we have to go ahead and go in with healthy boundaries, just as we teach in interventions. Go in with healthy boundaries and say, we have had enough. You are not going to behave this manner, this in this manner, or else this, this, and this will happen. And they have to do that with her or she will not stop. Jane Velez Mitchell, author of this book, Secrets Can Be Murder. In Hollywood, Ken Seeley, he's the lead interventionist from Annie's Intervention. Ken, Jane, it's good to see you both. Ken, I want to start with you as our interventionist sure. on call tonight. Uh... I need help. In time. So do you like the life you're living right now? Do you like what it does to your life and what it does to the people that you love? Of course not. Um, do you like what it's doing to her? Look at your daughter. Look at her. Do you like what it's doing to her? Thank you, Ken. Absolutely. Thank you very okay. much, Ken. Absolutely. You got me, all right. <laughs>